CBI was asked to assist Frederick PD in a missing persons homicide case. Cassie Rosenberg, close friend of Shannon Watts, provided that Shannon and Chris Watts used and Meadows, a real estate agent, to purchase their current house. It was learned that Chris Watts contacted Meadows on 13 August 2018 about selling the house. Agent Galbraith contacted Meadows by phone on 15 August 2018 at 19.54 p.m. Meadows told me that Shannon Watts sent her a message on Facebook Messenger on 10 August 2018 to tell her that she and Chris Watts were thinking about moving. She said that she would be out of town and back in town Sunday night. She wanted to get together with Meadows to discuss after she returned. Shannon asked for the best sites to be looking for homes on and Meadows sent her to Re, Colorado and sent Shannon a mobile app to search with. Meadows then sent Shannon a follow-up message suggesting they get pre-approved for a loan to begin with. Shannon did not reply and Meadows expected that she would once she returned to town. On Monday, the 13th of August 2018 at 8.28 a.m., and Meadows received a three-minute phone call from Chris Watts. Meadows was surprised and actually taken aback when Chris called as it was Shannon that Meadows usually talked with about real estate. Meadows was their agent when they bought the house they were living in. She only talked with Chris maybe twice during the transaction. Chris asked Meadows if Shannon had called her yet. She told Chris that she sent her a message in Messenger and that Meadows suggested that her and Chris get pre-approved for a loan. Chris told Meadows that no one knew yet but he and Shannon were getting divorced after not getting along for over a year. Meadows was shocked and told Chris that she was sorry. He told Meadows that not even his family knows. As the day, the 13th of August 2018 progressed, Meadows sent text messages to Chris and Shannon about the house. Shannon was usually vocal on issues and Shannon was not weighing in on the group texts. Meadows justified that perhaps the divorce situation had Shannon not participating in the topic of the text. Meadows discussed homes in the neighborhood and updates to the home by text in an effort to estimate value. Meadows saw on Facebook that Shannon was missing and realized that Shannon had not weighed in all day when she was texting Chris. Meadows reached out to Chris and stated that she realized Shannon was missing and asked if he was okay. He assured Meadows that he had reported to police and she could send prayers. Meadows knew Chris and Shannon before they bought the house they live in. They were both loving to each other and seemed really in love. Shannon was lovely, sweet and ambitious. Chris was quiet and a good father. Meadows knew nothing about the Watts finances. Meadows believed that Shannon was successful with Thrive and she worked hard. I thanked Meadows for her time. Meadows forwarded screenshots of her communication with Chris and Shannon Watts. Review of the screenshots forwarded to me by Meadows. Chris Watts, 910309172, called on 13 August 2018 at 8.28am. A three-minute call. Meadows provided a screenshot of the contact entry, which shows this call and duration. Facebook Messenger Messages Between Shannon Watts and and Meadows Shannon reaches out to Meadows to tell her that she and Chris would like to talk with her about selling the house. She told Meadows that she was out of town until late Sunday. Meadows asked Shannon where they wanted to move. Shannon told her he, Chris, was talking about Brighton or Fort Lupton, stating they cannot move too far south due to his job. Shannon said they had just talked about it last night. She then said they have thought about it off and on, but the construction behind them was holding them back. They now have a lot of it done. Before Shannon paints the baby's room and more, she wanted to see where they are at and their options. Meadows suggested Brighton and Erie. Shannon said they do not want to downsize, for the same price they are paying though. On Friday 10.25 a.m. Shannon asked Meadows about Realtor.com or Zillow. Meadows suggested ReColorado.com as the best to look and said she would send her a phone app. On Saturday 10.05 a.m., Meadows messaged to suggest Shannon talk to one of Meadows' lenders. Shannon did not reply. Texts between and Meadows and Chris Watts. 
Monday 12.27 p.m. Meadows texted Chris to tell him she was working on his market analysis and asked about upgrades to the house. Chris replied that the basement is still unfinished and there are no upgrades. Meadows asked about a comparable model in their neighborhood, and Chris agrees to drive by it when he gets home. Meadows says that it is under contract and she will call the realtor to see what is sold for to get a number. Meadows asked is Shannon okay? She hasn't weighed in all day, Chris replied, she hasn't been around all day. It's very odd. Meadows replied that it is really weird and asked if he was worried. She asked if Chris has checked with Shannon's friends or called to report her missing. Chris told Meadows that he has done it all and the police are handling it now. Monday 5.47 p.m. Chris thanked Meadows. She asked if he drove by the comparable house. He said that he just did and that is the exact model. Meadows was waiting to hear back from the agent and then they could set a time to meet.